Hi everyone, it's Tammy, and I wanted to show you a really cute card idea. So I am just using stickers from an Echo Park kit that I have. I didn't do any stamping or no, no coloring, nothing. Um, I just used some stickers and I'll show you the same technique. And I just think it's a fun fold, easy fold card. So yay, that's it. And I needed some birthday cards for my stash. So you start out with a regular base sized card, which is eight and a half by 11. Let me go down just a little bit so you guys can see a little bit more. So it's just a regular eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock. I'm going to score each side at two and an eighth inch. So I'm just lining it up. Oh, I don't know if you can see that, but I'm just lining it up two and an eighth inch. And then I'm going to take my bone folder or my score or whatever you want to use and score this all the way down. And then I'm going to turn it over and do the exact same thing. So two and an eighth inch. Did I do that at two and an eighth inch? It looks further. I did not. I did it. Oh my goodness. I did it at three. Okay, so forget that I just said that. Let's do this again. Let's measure once. And I'm gonna use these bottom ones. I'm sorry if you guys can't see that. Let me see what I can do about that. I'm gonna use these bottom ones. It's a little easier for me to see. So two and an eighth. Score this. And then turn it over. And two and an eighth. and score this side. And then I'm going to score it in the middle at five and a half. So this is making a regular A2 sized card, which is going to be a finished size of four and a quarter by five and a half. And now I want to cut off two of these rectangles. And it doesn't matter which two you pick, just they have to be on the same side of the card. <laughs> So I'm just going to put this down, and honestly, I think it's a little bit easier if I cut it this way. I'm going to go to two and a quarter. No, I'm not, two and an eighth. Two and an eighth. And I'm just going to cut up to the score line. I don't want to cut over the score line, just to the score line. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. At two and an eighth, or I'm just lining up my score line, honestly. So now I have this and I am going to then cut a little bit of a triangle. So I'm going to go just a little bit past the score line and cut to the score line. So it's giving it just a little bit of a, of a triangle, not even anything that you might notice but it's not going to be a straight cut. It's going to be a little angled. And you, I mean, you guys, if you're making cards, you're a card maker, so you might notice that it's not exactly straight, but somebody getting it is not going to particularly care or notice that that line is not straight. And that just helps when you're folding it. So then these can be scrap and you can do whatever you want. This is the whole base of the card. Let me move that out of the way and show you what you need to do now. So now I'm just going to fold in these two little uh, flaps. And you'll see here maybe that, let me get another scrap so you can maybe see, okay. That those aren't straight. They are at an angle, but they don't even match. I mean, and that's okay. If you want it to be perfect, you pick the wrong channel to watch, but <laughs> you can also, you can make it perfect if that's what you want to do. I'm just going to crease this score line, bur burnish it. And then, so here is the base of our card. Already done. Super cute. And then for the top, I picked, I'm going to make some uh, birthday cards. So I picked a pattern from my Echo Park. Uh, it's called It's Your Birthday. And I just got it off of the Echo Park website. And I cut this to four and a quarter by five and a half. So it can fit straight on 
to the card. I'll raise you up just a little bit. So it's um, just gonna fit right on the front and it's double-sided. So you could use either side you want. And I'm kind of tempted to use this side. I don't know what stickers I'm gonna pick out yet, but I have this at four and a quarter by five and a half. Let me show you the stickers that came with. They're really cute. I used, you know, so I, these are the only stickers I've used. This was actually from the card stock. I'll show you that too so you can see. So here's the piece of card stock that I used. At the bottom, it had this, it's your birthday. I cut that out and put that here. I just raised it on some pop dots. So, I mean, you could do the same. It's on both sides, but it just shows you the different card stock and um, it's just cute. So this was in, like I said, an Echo, Pack, Echo Park kit. So, and I put a little bit of the scrap here as well. So I, you know, I try to use as much of the paper as I can. And it just turned out really cute, I think. So I might use this side. Hmm. Looks like it's a little bit, no, it's not. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. There is one that says wishing you poodles of fun, which is kind of cute. And I could put the poodle on the front. Let's do that. Let's do that. And I'm going to use the confetti side up. So I'm going to. And so when you're cutting the paper, if it has a direction, be sure you cut it appropriately because I have made that mistake a million times. But this side of the paper, it doesn't really matter. So I'm just putting this on the card front with my double-sided tape. And then I think I'm gonna put my poodle on the outside so when you open it, it will say wishing you poodles of fun. Now I don't know if I just wanna put him on here or if I wanna put some white down. So I'm just kinda of looking at him, seeing what I might wanna do. Oh, that's kinda of cute. I think I'll do that. So I'm not going to stick him yet. I'm going to actually just put him on my desk and I am going to cut this so it is straight and it is four and a quarter inches. So I'm gonna cut it at four and a half on this side and then I'm going to cut it at four and a quarter because this is the one that I hand cut just to make sure that it's straight on both edges. And then this I'll put in my trash. And then this can go here I'm just going to kind of lay it in the middle. And then I'll put this here. That's cute. And then when you open it up, I did cut two panels. And so these are cut at one and seven eighths by five and a quarter. And these are just going to go right here on the side panels. Again, that's one and seven eighths by five and a quarter. And I will just put those down. And on the last one, I put a banner on the bottom. You could do whatever you'd like. I think I might do the same thing. I still have some of the banner. And to do that, I just kind of eyeballed where it would go. I probably should have put this on the panel before I cut it, but that's all right. Well, I know that it's, well, whatever I said, one and seven eighths, so maybe I'll take my little cutter. Let's do it a little bit. I need to go this way and it's not straight here so I'm going to make it straight to start and 
and then I'm going to put that line at one and seven eighths. And then that line at one and seven eighths. sticker and put that on. I might go at the top this time. There we go. Cute. And then on the inside I have a piece that is cut at four by five and a quarter. Sorry if you could hear that big truck go by. I have my window open. It's supposed to be a hot day, but right now it feels pretty good outside, so. I like to use the air when I can. And then I'm going to put the wishing you pools of fun. You know what? Maybe I'll know another Nah, I don't really like that. Putting that straight down, and then I'm going to also just put this white straight down. Oh, I had this measured for the front, but that's all right. I don't need it. I was going to... I did a front banner for the other one, but I didn't need it for this one. I decided to do something different. That's the beauty of card making. You can do whatever you want. I'm going to put it this way, and then this will be where I sign it. And that is that. Isn't that cute? So it's a little poodle. A little bit of decoration. Wishing you poodles of fun. Now, if you wanted to put something else, some other decoration around, you can, of course, do whatever you want. But I think sometimes keeping the card simple is fun, too. And it's a fun fold, so that's neat. So there are my two cards, and I hope that you enjoyed this. Super simple and easy, and a way to use some of my stickers. I often will stamp, and I find myself not using the stickers as much, and I love them. But then I end up hoarding them, and that's I don't need to do that. Maybe I'll put a banner on this one too. Get your party on. Let's do that one. And you know what I'm gonna do is, I think I'll do this. I'm going to put it in the middle. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Oh, except for that side has a score line on it. So I'm gonna put it so it's not it's like, um, there's a little bit of an edge. It's not on the edge. I'm going to make a banner out of this. So I'm going to cut this with a little bit of white space around it on the top and the bottom. And then on the sides, I'm just going to cut about the same amount on this side as is on the other side, so I'm just eyeballing it so that they both have about the same amount. And then I'm going to take my scissors and cut in about a quarter of an inch and then take from the corner to that cut end, I'm going to cut that off to make a little banner. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. So a quarter of an inch and then I'm going to just cut from the corner to that line and from the corner to that line and then that helps make it a straighter uh, banner and I don't know it looks better on both ends than if you were just to try to cut the triangle but I mean it's still not perfect but that's okay by me and I'll put get your party on up here and I think I will use some pop dots to arrange that up
I'm just gonna put three of them on, one in the middle and one on each side. your party on there we go now I think it looks a little more complete so there we go there are the two finished cards so thanks for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day bye